In the Hydric and Struggle survey done in the US, two-thirds of CFOs said that new responsibilities have been added to their teams. For example, real estate evaluation, ESG, and managing new reporting requirements. From your perspective, how can organizations think about their finance function in order to prepare themselves for an ever-changing world? Seeing finance as a backroom function is very passe. I mean, in reality, both at Interplex as well as now at Raffles, as CFO, I'm, I'm not only just heading up the finance organization, but I also head up other functions within the group. For example, in Raffles, the business services divisions come under my purview and included in those functions are real estate, which is our leasing division, covering our investment properties, as well as the IT, procurement, legal, HR. Therefore, in today's organization, having finance just as a backroom operation is um, not what it is. Besides, I think the finance function has also evolved beyond just pure financial reporting and telling the performance of the company as it was in the past. But today, true CFO should partner the organization in providing enough information, not just from the past, but also projections for the future on how the business can be strategized and in which direction it should move supported by critical numbers and analytics. Um, that's the most important function because, you know, we are not just there to report numbers. Yeah, in a very similar vein, what we are seeing in the market is there's no doubt that the pandemic combined with the Russian-Ukraine war, the uh, market volatility in the stock markets and the oil prices have had an impact on the finance function. And one interesting trend we're seeing is the incorporation of dynamic forecasting using real-time data inputted in a monthly or quarterly rolling basis. This has helped organizations to better prepare um, in terms of their planning, budgeting, forecasting, uh, especially in this day where supply chain disruptions are very, very prevalent in many organizations. Definitely. Um, data plays a very important part. I mean, this, you can fit in dynamics um, environment into your dynamic forecasting of your quarterly or half yearly forecast. But at the end of the day, the reality is that some of those information are also measured against some historical trends. And then that's where you take the sensitivity and feed it into your changing environment and achieve, hopefully, reliable forecasts of how you should then position yourself in terms of resources to meet the demands of the business for that forecasted period. Um, it is an ongoing process. And... Um, at the end of the day, it is very much garbage in, garbage out. Uh, you do need to have accurate basis in which to then project the future. And that's where finance can partner the business divisions in those decision making. Mm -hmm.